Hello and welcome to Soundbase TV. We're here at BPM taking a look at the new Native Instruments products. Obviously they've launched a new S2 and S4 recently. Uh, I'm here with our rep Dave uh, to take a look at the new products. Uh, Dave, do you want to give us a quick walkthrough of what's going on at the moment? Yeah, okay, so what we have out today is we have the new S4 Mark II. We also have the new S2 Mark II. And um, basically these are more like an evolution from the previous generation. Uh, some of the key features are uh, we redesigned the jog wheels. So we don't use the old magnet system now, they use more uh, a fluid system inside, which means they have a, a better feeling of inertia, uh, they move a lot freer, and obviously they have aluminium tops, which are a bit harder wearing. Um, the better build quality overall, um, the faders have been redesigned, the high resolution fader now. Um, the, uh, the S4 now has a dedicated booth output, which was a common requested feature. Um, and we also have uh, RGB colour feedback on the controls, which you can see uh, over the NS4 there, uh, illuminated nicely with the, uh, that guy DJing for us. Um, one of the key features we're really um, wanting to focus on uh, this year with both products uh, is the integration with the Tractor DJ app. Um, it's, um, now, the S2 in particular marries very well to this app because it's a two-channel design and the app's a two-channel uh, you know, uh, application. Um, there's some really good features like you have um, one thing that you, it's even an improvement over Tractor Pro 2 is the ability to uh, quickly uh, adjust beat grids on the fly for example by hitting shift sync and moving the beat grids in time to any track you can quickly adjust for any tracks that are drifting in and out of time so if you're, for example uh, DJing with any older records that aren't exactly quantized in sync um, and, um, and also you have, um, you have simultaneous control both with the iPad and with the controller so if you want to bring an effect up, um, you can map it to it there. You can adjust part of the, uh, the x-axis there, but also the y-axis on the surface. So it's not like the controller would override the, the, the touch interface on the iPad as well. So they do work together. So you can do some kind of crazy filter effects where you're controlling the resonance on the screen and also the x-axis with the controller. Um, which again is something that's not as tactile with any other medium unless you're using the iPad. Um, also, uh, the S2 redesign now has a default filter control at the top, uh, which doubles up as a gain knob, but on the, on the old one it was the other way around, which is another common cross feature. Yeah, yeah. Um, the flux mode we now have on the controller, okay. Um, basically, um, so the, the reason the, the Tractor DJ app was default in flux mode before, but this new build we're using today is actually a beta build, which will be released at the time of when this um, is installed, which is the uh, 30th of September. Um, and um, you can now turn that on and off with the controller. So, um, and obviously flux mode, uh, uh, exactly the same as what you've probably seen. The track will continue to go when you come out, or if you're out of flux mode, you're working more in absolute terms, in terms of your track position. Um, and, um, yeah, that's... Uh, and it's kind of the faders that moved over to the inner faders like the no, it's not actually, it's, it's not actually an inner fader. Cool. Um, it's our own proprietary design. Yeah. Um, one thing we have done is um, redesign the fader caps. These are now a lot thinner. Um, again, this is probably a personal preference thing for a lot of DJs, but in particular for people that like to scratch, um, it's you know it's, it's been requested more, so that's okay. just a customer preference generally. Cool. Cool. And in terms of remix decks, is it possible to control directly from the unit? Um, with the S4, you have um, four remix slots on the controller, yeah. so you have some limited functionality of the remix set, uh, sets on there, decks on there, sorry. Um, you won't ever get full control without an F1 controller additionally, no. because that's what that controller's designed for. Yeah. So, um, but you will be able to control the very first slots on the remix set of an S4 controller. With an S2 controller, you would have to lose the mapping for cue points and map those for remix decks. Right. Okay. Um, but because of the way Tractor's fully mappable on Tractor Pro 2, yeah. um, then that's, you know, if that was your preference. Um, or you could also add an F1 as a bolt-on to a, an S2 controller and have them full control, which would probably make more sense, yeah. uh, to be honest. Okay, perfect. And with regards to the S4, any major changes that you'd like to uh, um, the same, on there? The same upgrades, what I would say, with the build quality and the jog wheels have been uh, carried over from the S2 uh, to the S4 as well. Um, and. Um, Another key thing is the actual legending on the unit is a lot clearer now. Uh, the illuminations are a lot better. It's a lot better on stage uh, to see in the dark stage environment. And um, but yeah, the biggest the biggest features we're really pushing is to move to Tractor DJ app and the integration that follows with that. You know, a DJ can do a set with 
you know, their iPad, but they can have a phone now or an app as uh, a full backup, yeah. and it's not a limited version. So they still have full control of the effects. They still have the whole library in there from iTunes or whatever they're using, and there's not there's not any limitation with that. Um, so it's yeah, that's that's the kind of direction we're going with these cool. with these two products. And what's going to be the price on the new S4 and the release? Uh, six seven nine. Six seven nine. Yeah. And when we're looking to get that at the same time as the S2. Yeah, they're both released thirtieth thirtieth September. Okay, perfect. So. Uh, this has been Martin with Soundbase TV with Dave from Native Instruments. All of the products mentioned will be live on soundbasemegastore.com and go to there for prices and availability. Make sure you subscribe and like for more videos from BPM 2013.